How to get rid of constipation immediately and naturally Are you suffering from constipation? Are you looking for ways to get rid of it and fast? You're not alone as constipation is one of the most common medical conditions in the Western world. If you're reading this now, then I'm guessing you have constipation and are feeling very uncomfortable right now. Hopefully, I can help you feel better by giving you a list of natural remedies you can use to cure your constipation and fast. Constipation is mostly common in women, however men do also suffer from constipation too. The NIDDK found that more than 4 million of Americans suffered from constipation every single year. They also found that a massive $725 million is spent on laxatives every year because of it. That is a lot of money to spend when there are natural remedies out there that do an even better job and are much cheaper, if not free. What is constipation? As we eat food, our digestive system will break it down so that the body can absorb all the nutrients and water. However the digestive system cannot break all food down, and so this then becomes a stool, more commonly known as poo. Once stool has been formed, the intestine muscles will work to push the stool through the colon and out through the rectum. This entire process should be easy and natural. When you have constipation, it means that the muscles that work to push the stool through colon are not performing. This lack of performance will result in irregular bowel movements which will cause your stool to be hard and dry. Stools that are hard and dry will be able very hard to pass. The different types of constipation The term constipation is an umbrella term that covers two different types of constipation. Many people don't know that there is more than one type of constipation, so it is a good idea to be familiar with them. The different types of constipation are organic constipation and functional constipation. Organic constipation happens when there has been a change in your body. This type of constipation should be seen by a doctor and isn't as common which is why I won't go into it. It is best to seek advice from your doctor in this instance. Functional constipation happens by not eating well, not drinking enough water, having high stress levels and leading an improper lifestyle. All of these things can lead to you having constipation. I will be talking just about functional constipation in this guide. How do you know if you have constipation? Most of the time, people just simply know when they are suffering from constipation, but since I'm explaining constipation, it is worth stating what the symptoms of constipation are just in case you're not sure. You will know if you have constipation if you have any of the following. 1. Less than 3 bowel movements in a week. 2. Stools are hard, dry and possibly even lumpy. 3. It is difficult and maybe even painful to pass stools. 
4. Use strain when trying to pass duels. 5. Have the feeling that you haven't emptied your bowels after passing stool. What causes constipation? Now that you know what constipation is and what the symptoms of constipation are, do you know what causes constipation? Constipation is most commonly caused by having too much processed food in your diet and therefore, a change of diet is recommended. Processed foods usually have a lot of calories, but the very little nutritional value which is why digestive systems find it hard to break processed foods down. Eating too much processed foods can actually cause harm by weakening the wall of your colon. Weakening the colon wall will make it hard to push stool through the colon. Because processed food is difficult to push through the colon, your intestine muscles will start to tire and eventually give up altogether. This will then result in constipation. Can constipation be serious? Not many people realize that constipation can be quite harmful to your health. It can make you very lethargic and uncomfortable, however it can be more serious than that. If you continue to have constipation and don't pass stool, then it could certainly lead to more serious medical conditions. If your body isn't getting rid of wasted food by producing stool then all those toxins, harmful germs, and dead cells will be left sitting in your body which will cause harm. If wasted food is left decaying in your body then the following medical conditions could be a result. 1. Fecal impaction 2. Varicose veins. 3. Hemorrhoids, piles. 4. Anal tears and fissures. 5. A prolobstrectum. 6. Diverticular disease. How to get rid of constipation immediately and naturally There are so many different ways to get rid of your constipation floating around the website which is why I have brought them all together in one place. Everyone is different and so what might work brilliantly for others might not work brilliantly for you. Thanks for watching.